Turning now to the war between Israel and Hamas. More questions on when the ground invasion into Gaza will begin as Hamas holds more than 200 people captive still. And here at home, tense moments between pro-Israeli and pro-Palestinian demonstrators. Cooper Union students who were pro-Israel say they felt unsafe as pro-Palestinian protesters banged into and chanted outside the library where they were studying. We have team coverage for you tonight. CBS 2's Jessica Moore here with the latest in the Middle East. But we begin with Lisa Rosner live at Cooper Union in the East Village. Lisa. Well, Maurice, students here tell me that school staff locked them in the library this afternoon due to safety concerns. The NYPD tells us there were no arrests, no injuries, and no property damage. It also says that this was a planned demonstration, and the NYPD is reviewing video. This video shows a group of Jewish students standing in the Cooper Union Library as other students chant free Palestine outside locked doors and hold up signs outside the glass. It was tense. It, people were nervous. They were specifically acting very aggressive in those spaces where outwardly Jewish students were sitting. The librarians ran over to us and they were like, we tried to warn you, but we just got notice that they're coming down. I genuinely don't know what would have happened if the doors were left open. The students say they were studying in the library after attending an earlier rally in Cooper Plaza. A representative from Cooper Union says the library was closed for approximately 20 minutes in the late afternoon and that students chose to stay in the library until the protest was over. Security escorted us from the library to this building or outside to where people left to go home. These photos from hours earlier show pro-Israel students holding up enlarged signs of kidnapped Israelis and across the way pro-Palestinian students holding signs demanding the institution support Palestinian causes. Off camera, several pro-Palestinian students told CBS2 they planned to protest throughout the entire school and did not target or threaten the Jewish students in the library. The NYPD says three community affairs officers were at the school for the planned demonstration. A spokesperson says about 20 students demonstrated outside the president's office who said she did not feel in danger before they made their way towards the library. I'm actually very upset. We've been speaking with the school for two and a half weeks. We've been telling them that, you know, this is an escalating situation. We did reach out to Cooper Union for comment. A rep told us that the NYPD was on site throughout the day. Now, I just received a statement from students representing the pro-Palestinian group uh, who told me, in part, our protest was not targeting any individual student or faculty, but the institution itself. We would like to reiterate, we do not under any circumstance condone anti-Semitism. The mayor and governor also tweeted about this, saying local and state law enforcement was in touch with the school. We're live in the East Village. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Okay, Lisa, thank you.